You're watching the future being put to the test. Here in Oxfordshire, they're creating a hybrid of a jet engine and a rocket engine. It will produce the same energy as a nuclear power station, can take passengers to Australia in just four hours, and could make space travel as easy as hopping on a plane. Now, the engineering involved here is absolutely mind-blowing. When the aircraft, the spacecraft, is flying at five times the speed of sound, air will be coming in at 3,000 miles an hour. It then needs to be cooled and slowed down to just 30 miles an hour in one hundredth of a second. It turns science fiction into science fact, and it's British. Alan Bond has been working on this technology for 32 years. The reality is now tantalisingly close. So it would enable something that looks exactly like an aeroplane to take off, fly into space, do a very important job with communication satellites or meteorological satellites or whatever, and then return, and uh, next day it could do it again. It's not quite Buck Rogers, but it's, it's not far off that. But closer still is the advent of space tourism. Virgin Galactic's maiden flight is now just weeks away. It will be a game changer. I don't think anybody a hundred years ago um, would ever have guessed that just about anybody could fly transatlantic, you know, in a hundred years' time. So it's difficult to, to say exactly where space will, will get to. But I do think it will become perhaps within most people's reach as a trip of a lifetime within the next you know, couple of decades or so. And here, in the splendour of the north of Scotland, are what many believe are ideal locations for a European spaceport, a gateway to the galaxy. Tourism will cause a fundamental shift in the way we think about our access to space. So therefore, in the not-too-distant future, when we mention places like Cape Canaveral and Houston as being synonymous with space travel, we may also talk about the north of Scotland and the Moray Firth. Not only is there the potential in space tourism, but the concept is with the new generation of rocket planes that they can take satellites into orbit. That in turn could attract companies to locate in the area. This company is building mini satellites in Glasgow. A spaceport, in relative terms, just up the road, would see their business, well, rocket. And how much easier would it be as we, we launch more and more satellites to jump in the car or on a train and um, take yourself to Lossmouth or somewhere else in the UK and launch a satellite. It would just make the whole process much cheaper, it would make it much, much easier, and I think we would attract a lot of business to the UK. Once the preserve of superpowers and those blessed with a super imagination, space is now within touching distance for many of us. And here's a thought. The man behind these incredible engines says his ambition is to make space travel boring.